Yeah. I think so, we have a good question from uh, Farhan uh, re related uh, to this, uh, Stanley. Uh, he's questioning, you talk about pressure fluctuations in the system, uh, but what is actually the cause of these? Can you explain that? Uh, yeah. Um, so, as I said, um, nowadays we mostly use two-way control valves, right? So that means that there is a, a valve, uh, like, uh, like we can see, uh, see here in the picture, uh, here in the picture, that basically allows a certain amount of flow through the um, um, a certain amount of flow through the through the valve so it can be more or it can be less flow so now if you close one of these valves and you allow less flow because you have a less need for uh, for output so let's say you're heating the room and uh, and the the room is almost on temperature and you want to close the radiator or whatever it is you're using then that means that actually the flow through the installation shifts and you can kind of uh, compare this with um, a garden hose so if you have a number of holes in a garden hose uh, where a certain amount of water is coming out then um, um, then you will see that there is a certain flow there and that might be a nice fountain or something and but if you actually close one of the holes in the hose then um, you will see that the water through the rest of the holes will actually increase. And yeah. I mean, I also seen this pro process actually in, in some kids playground toys where they have, you know, fountains that are popping up all over the, uh, all over the place. If you close, let's say one of the fountains and if you uh, basically uh, uh, restrict the flow there, then uh, the flow will re redistribute and come out somewhere else. And this is basically what causes those pressure fluctuations because uh, pressure and flow in, uh, in a system are very, very closely connected. So there is no way that you can change the, the pressure without actually changing the flow. Uh, 